Hi boys and girls, welcome back to Kids to College. Today I'm going to show you a very simple and easy chemical reaction that we can make occur using a lemon, food coloring, and baking soda or baking powder. Either one will work, okay? This is a very quick and easy experiment to do, but super, super fun. So, what we're going to do is we are going to take our lemon, and you are going to want an adult to possibly help you with this because we're going to use a knife, and we don't want to cut off too much of the lemon, okay? So we're just going to kind of cut off the top part of it. So if you see, like, right here, okay? So I'm just going to cut it open with my knife, okay? Now I've got my nice exposed lemon, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to add a drop of food coloring to it. I may add two just to be safe, okay? In order to get that color down in the lemon, and you can use a, a fork for this as well, we're going to want to kind of squish the lemon up, right? And I'm doing this over a plate because it can be messy, but we want to get all of that color distributed, and there is lemon juice flying everywhere at me, so um, be aware that that may happen, but I want to get that color really down into the lemon. We want to get the lemon broken up so that way we get all of those acidic juices that are in the lemon um, exposed, right? Okay, so I'm going to continue to do that because that's going to help us have a great chemical reaction, okay? All right, so I've got it pretty much broken up. And like I said, you could use a fork for this as well. Okay, so we got it nice and blue, but I wanna add just a little more color. One more drop. And I'm going to, once again, kind of mix that around inside of it, right? Okay, now it's really nice and blue. And it's okay if you have seeds in there, that's, that's not a problem at all. So this is what we're looking at at this time. So now we're going to take our baking powder or baking soda. And if you have a teaspoon, that's wonderful. If not, you can use a small spoon. And I'm just going to take a little bit of the baking powder to start. And I'm going to drop it on. And we're going to watch what happens. I'm hearing a lot of sizzling occurring. Okay, I'm going to kind of push that down in there and mix it over. And if I have any excess, clear away, I made it put too much. So do you see all of that happening? So that is the baking soda reacting with the acidity that is in the lemon. And it's continuing to happen and going on and on and on. Um, and we're actually getting a really frothy oh there we go that's a nice reaction we're getting a really frothy reaction much like uh when we make elephants toothpaste right so you can play with this and do this multiple times over and over um because it's still it's still going because there's so much lemon juice in there i want to just add a little more baking soda just see what happens i'm going to kind of mix that in there and see if that has the process speed up any oh yeah it's continuing as you see it's starting to fill my plate i'm going to move this out of the way so it's amazing the chemical reactions that can occur because that's what's happening right now simply by using a lemon uh in some baking soda so this can be really fun and then you can play with the reaction after but like i said it's still happening i'm not sure if you can hear that but that's the chemical reaction that is happening. So that is some fun lemon science. We're going to be making invisible ink with lemon juice later on this week. So stay tuned for that. But real quick before you go, I just wanted to show all of you who um, have had a chance to get your bean uh, and begin growing that. I want to show you what stage mine is in. So... I believe it's been about four or five days now um, since I started this. Let's see. But as you can see, so I've been just adding a few drops of water every day to my bean. 
And as we see, it is germinating. It's creating roots. And eventually we are going to see that this part right here, which may be hard to see on video, this part right here is going to end up turning into a leaf. Okay, so make sure you keep adding a few drops, not too much. We don't want to saturate it, okay? I'm going to drop it back in my wet paper towel cup and put it back on my window so, and we will check back in in a couple of days. I hope you're having a wonderful time, and we miss you all very much. Have a great day from kids to college.